Hi, I'm Susan with Southern Doorbell. You can um, check out my page on Facebook. Um, today we are going to do a video on swags. I'm going to do a um, swag out of a uh, Dollar Tree candy cane. You will need two, just like this, two of them. Let's cut the tags off. You will need also two zip ties, or actually I think I should get four, four zip ties for both sides. I use black so that kind of blends in. So you know, all you're going to do is turn it around. Zip tie from the back side. Okay, once you get them zip tied, snip them off. This one's not holding as well. I think that should do it. And so this is what you should have. This shape. Kind of hard to see with the light shining through, but you should have this shape of two candy canes put together. So you'll want to turn it over. You'll need um, pop cleaners. I don't have the white, so we're going with a um, white and silver. So this will match. This will work. These will loop them through. This will hold your mesh. This is what that'll look like. So I'm going in every other, like crisscross or like zigzag, I guess you'd say, zigzag all the way around.
should look like this all the way around the zigzag pattern so that way it will be full takes a few minutes to get this done but it's not too hard you got to make sure it's secure We're going to use the snow mesh, uh, 21 inch mesh on the bottom. Normally I just do 10 inch, but I'll make this one a little fluffier and do the snow at the bottom, snow mesh, a uh, poly mesh, this is 21 foot long poly mesh. Around the curve, you want to make sure you get it good on the curve so we get good coverage of the mesh on that also so there's no wire showing or frame or form I guess you'd say. take and twist it once I put it on there I twist it around the frame and then I twist it around each other so that way it's pretty secured it's not going to slip and slide around as much I don't know if you can see that the frame I've taken flip it under bring it back up same way for the other side flip it under bring it back up then wrap it around itself I'm still doing the zigzag on the frame with the pipe cleaners almost done with this so we can start the, the mesh. It's my dog.
Almost finished. Just a few more. Two more, I think we got it. Okay. One more on the corner. Should be one on Ziggy Dug on every area. Okay, so this is our frame. Like I said, we're, we're using two uh, candy cane forms from Dollar Tree. We're using um, pipe cleaners. We're doing a zigzag pattern. We'll be using like a uh, poly mesh, I think it's snow mesh, to um, do the background of it. So this is what this one looked like. I don't know if you can see all the looks snowy look. We're going to add some silver. 10 inch and then we're going to add um, these for some detail once we get it done. A few of these. Possibly some ornaments. And of course, uh, of course, we got ribbon that we're going to add to it. Probably two or three, maybe four different kinds. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna reach and move this down a little bit so we can see the what's going on down there on the the form. All right, so I'm gonna move this over. So you would take and scrunch up the end of your um, of your mesh. Make sure the sides are going down on each side. So you just find you somewhere to start. I'm gonna just start on the um, right here. Some people will actually take where they start their first one. To secure it they they zip tie it so it doesn't slip out but i've never had a problem with it so i normally don't do that so i'm going to go um approximately just kind of guessing at it 10 inches 10 inch puffs in each um pipe cleaner And we spread go to the next one same thing and just repeat all the way around
that's what it's starting to look like already. Already filling in. Okay, so repeat, repeat all the way around till you get it like you want it. And then 10 inch spoon. Fasten it with the uh, pop cleaner. there we're over halfway Roll. I'm not sure. We will see. I got another roll just in case. Just in case we need it. This was 20, 20 foot on this one. On this roll.
So do I need 10 inch pumps? So we get another 10 inch puff and we spread it out. I think I'm gonna have to open up um, the next roll. And like I said, this is a, a 20 foot roll of uh, <clears throat> the snow mesh. So um, yeah, 20 foot. So I'm gonna run it a little bit short, not much. <clears throat> yep, I only need I got two more two more uh pot cleaners in here, so we were close. So this is not gonna be enough for the next part, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Make sure it's secure with my with my pot cleaner so it doesn't come undone. Go ahead and cut this off so we can continue on the next piece. Again, just like the beginning, if you're going to, this is a little more crooked. When you're at the, end, the, the beginning of it, you take it, scrunch, make sure the outside ends are un turned down. And you have a little pinch, you probably go about an inch or so in, so you've got a good amount. Then I'm going to just start, since I had to cut that off, I'm going to do it at the same spot that I cut the last one off. That way it's full in that area and it doesn't leave me a, a blank spot of no mesh. So I'm going to go back to my 10 inch poof, go to the next one, continue to do what I've done all the way around. Spread the poof, one, one, two more should do it. And this will be the last one that go, goes, continues to where we started at, at the beginning. So we spread out the poof. And we spread out the poof here. Do it all the way out, all the way down. Okay. So we're gonna, since this is the end, everything's full all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and cut it off about say inch. So we're done with this. We save it for another one. So 
clean this up. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. Lots of uh, snowy mesh. It looks really full. All right, so now we're, what we're going to put this to the side. I don't, let me see. I think I got them all. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to do a bunch of cutting. This was, um, there's, um, Two ten and a half inch, they're 18 foot each. This is from Walmart. It's like a silvery gray, it's got out some shine in it. We're gonna get one and lay it, the other one aside just in case we need it. see the, the silver shine in the in down the mesh okay all right I don't really do exact on this I just cut it because this is the size of um, the board that I have to cut on I just always cut it 23 inch and um, that's just what I do no exact it doesn't have to be exact so you do this so you're going to take my clip take and roll it just a few times clip roll your edges under then you will take and scrunch to meet the other side so it looks something like this it's kind of hard to see but almost like a butterfly kind of look they could they call this a woodland ruffle so we start filling in just pick an area and start filling it in So this will look something like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting some of these to get them so I can get a bunch of them and ready to roll them out. You need one per pipe cleaner. I don't know how, how exactly how many I have, so I'm just going to guess that if I need more, I'll cut more as I go. Okay, I think my video got cut off because of somebody texting. Um, So anyhow, we were doing a swag and it's a Christmas swag. We we're using two candy cane forms, snow mesh, 10 inch poofs, and now we're doing 10 inch um, 
woodland ruffle down on each pipe cleaner. This is what it's looking like so far. It's filling it in as we go. We do loose rolls, clip, swing it around, same thing. Do loose rolls. And you scrunch to meet your other side, keeping it as straight as possible. And scrunch it in the middle. Almost looks like a like a little bow tie butterfly pattern. And you put it in in your um, swag in your pipe cleaner. Same thing. Loose roll. Roll it a few times. Keep going. Keep rolling. Clip. Roll a few times and then you scrunch to get keep it as straight as possible to the other side. And do the clip and you add it to the next pipe cleaner.
flip it. This is what we have so far. How it looks like it definitely fills it in a lot better compared to just the snowy mesh. Okay. We'll keep rolling until we have it full. This is an end piece, so I'm not going to waste it, so we'll use it. End of the roll is what I was talking about. We will definitely use it if it's long enough. Just a little bit fluffier roll, but it'll work. Roll and we clip. We add it to, oh yeah, this will get stuck. We add it to the next pot cleaner. Well over halfway on that, on our swag, on our rolls. Flip it. Loose roll to return roll. Then you scrunch to make like a bow tie. A lot of repeats. We have two more, so we're definitely going to have to cut more. 